हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट एंड इन दिस करंट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू परफॉर्म डिलीट ऑपरेशन ऑन डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग Let's start with the operation delete on a doubly linked list. As we have seen in the insertion operation, we can insert at these three different position. In the same way, we can delete a node from these three different position. One by one, we will see what the steps we supposed to follow to delete a node from a doubly linked list. So let's begin with. from beginning that is if i want to delete a first node what the steps i have to follow let's consider this is doubly linked list which is available with me and i want to delete a first node to delete a first node obviously we supposed to start from a head node and we have to move to the next node and we have to stop so let's move to the next node and we have to stop now after deletion of this node we are going to make this node as a head node that's why we have to traverse till only the second node of the doubly linked list now what we have to do we have to update the links in this doubly linked list to delete a first node so for that we have to assign a null pointer to the previous of this current node wherever we are at this current node we supposed to update this previous field now let's look at this position this is a current node and we have updated it to null after updating it to the null here you just observe the thing that we have detached this link and after detaching this link we can now delete this node and after that we are going to make this current node as a head node now this node is going to become a head node and your link list will look like this after deletion of the first node or after deleting the node deleting the node which is present at the beginning position now let's move forward for the next uh, operation that is deletion of the node from link list from the position in between if i want to delete any in between item any in between uh, node then what the steps we supposed to follow so any in between means what here you can see that this is the beginning of the list this is end of the list so these three nodes are only here which are present at in between position and that we can delete because for the deletion logic for at the beginning is different and at the end is different and if you want to delete any in between node for that again the logic is different so that's why the applicable nodes which i can delete in between they are node 20 node 40 and node 30 only now let's see if i want to delete this node how we can perform the delete operation so we supposed to start from a head node and we have we have to move to the node whose next node which we want to delete so we are going to start from a head node and we will stop at this position because its next node is this one which we want to delete so let's start with the head node and we are at this node whose next field is the address location which we want to delete this node so now after that what the next step we supposed to follow make this as a current node and assign the next next field of a current node to the next field this is your current node its next field is 65830 and its next field is 65730 okay this current node here you can see that two times we supposed to take care of the next field so this is your current node this is the next field and its next is nothing but this address locations next field is 65730 is the address of the next node of the node which we want to delete why we will require this node now because we want to form a link between these two nodes as we supposed to delete this node 
so that's why let's copy this address to the next field of a current node you just observe over here i am going to make the changes and after pasting this address we have detached the forward link to the node which we want to delete and with this address location we are going to attaching a link to the node uh, after the node which we want to delete now what the next step we have to follow we have to follow the next step is like assign the current node to the current nodes next and its previous field okay this is your current node 65630 is your current node what we where we have to assign it current nodes next and its previous which one is the next field 65730 is this node right this is the node 65730 and its previous field we have to update so the desired location is this one where we have to update the address of the current node that is 65630 so let's look at this position and we have updated this address location and it means that we are detaching this link and we are creating this backward link so the desired links we have created now and now if we are going to delete this node there will not be any harm so that's why our next step is to delete a next node of current node let's delete it and here we have done our task to delete a node in between so in this way we have deleted a node which was present in between and we have done with our desired task let's move forward if we want to delete a node at the end of the list then what we have to do so let's start with the algorithm which we will require for the deletion of node from the end of the list so first of all we supposed to start from head and we have to traverse the link list till the current nodes next and its next field is null now let's see let's start with the head node and where we will stop we'll stop at this position current nodes next field first first next will be holding this address this address is nothing but the next node and this node's next field is null we have to stop at this position so we have to stop at the previous node ultimately we have to stop at the previous node now what we'll do we'll we'll delete the current node's next so whatever the next address is present that is 65930 this node we are going to delete so after deletion it will look like this the only remaining thing is we have to update this field to null because this is going to become a last node of your linked list and the end of the list we are going to determine with the help of null so that's why we are going to assign the next field of a current node to null so in this way we can delete the node from the end deletion of the node at the beginning and at the end is very simple in comparison with the deletion of node in between so in this way we have done with the deletion of the node from all the three positions so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment as well as do not forget to share it with your friends here i am providing you a subscription link for my channel tech talks along with this i am providing you a shortcut link for a next video of this video series and the whole video series i am going to provide you in the form of playlist so thank you friends happy data structuring happy learning thank you